Happening now, the final night before the Colorado State Fair kicks off, meaning the vendors, livestock owners, others, they're putting on the final touches. And that includes the safety check on all of the nearly 70 rides featured this year. News Size Sam Kramer spent some time with the ride inspectors today. He's on our Pueblo studio with more. Sam. Yeah, the fair abides by a thorough process. Each of the rides are checked for safety every day, not just by the company setting them up, but by an independent inspector as well. On the eve of the 149th Colorado State Fair, before the lights will flash and the rides will spin, the carnival sounds like this. Are you in there now? Amid those final touches, Bill Hogarth travels around from ride to ride. His main focus, safety. Uh, we check for um, uh, any inconsistencies. We make sure that they're assembled correctly and uh, everything's in the place where it ought to be. He's checking seat belts, ensuring they're sturdy and click together as they should. Part of his daily duties as a ride inspector for the state fair. These rides are just like your car. Things happen, you know, you, you know, today your brakes work just fine, tomorrow they're squeaking. So we, we check for that. By law, Holgard, who works for High Country Amusement Ride Inspections, actually doesn't need to be here. The rides are set up and checked by Crabtree Amusements, then licensed and inspected annually by the state. But State Fair General Manager Scott Stoller tells me he wanted an extra layer of inspection just in case. I think everybody uh, in Colorado that brings their family out to the fair needs to have that uh, that peace of mind knowing that these rides weren't just slapped together and put up. So every day from here through the end of the fair, Hogard and company will inspect every ride, some more than once a day, because safety isn't something to take for granted. Our object is to keep the seats on the ride, the riders in the seat, and everybody goes home happy. And because of their daily inspections, they ask for your patience. If some of those rides aren't open right when you get to the fair, the time of an inspection varies from around 15 minutes to an hour or more per ride. Always watching out for you, Southern Colorado. I'm Sam Kramer, News 5. Sam, thanks. And of course, KOA A5, a proud sponsor of the State Fair, Elizabeth, Mike, and myself will be there live at 5 and 6 tomorrow night. And on Tuesday night, we'll be dressed much more casually than you see in that picture. No ties allowed, as mm -hmm. I understand. Hope to see you all out there.